Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, and I'm answering a question submitted by a student. This one has to do with half-life. And carbon-14 is, in fact, uh, the method that's most often used to measure the age of something that was discovered. It could be almost anything. It could be coming out of a, an Egyptian tomb or something something exotic like that. Um, the general formula for the half-life is what I'm going to start with so that, so the ending amount is equal to the starting amount times one half raised to the T over H where H is the half-life and T is the time, elapsed time. So if the half-life is 10, for example, and five years from now, I'm sorry, in 10 years from now, you'd have half of what you started with. You see, if the, if the half-life is 10 and time is 10 years, you'd have a half of what you started with. And that's the best way to think about things. Or if the half-life was 10 and time was 20, that would be two intervals, so it be one quarter of what you started with. See, uh, so this works very nicely, and I think it's the easiest, certainly it's the easiest way to approach it. If you don't want to approach it this way, um, there are other ways to do it. You can use um, another method, but this is the method I like. Okay, so let's get back into it. So we can just pretend here, it doesn't matter what the amounts are, but we can just say 60% uh, of what was left. So you can imagine that if we started with 100 grams of, of this stuff, uh, we'd have 60 left. That's 60% of what we started with. And it doesn't matter what numbers you use here, all, because the first thing we're gonna do is divide. So I'm going to do 57.30 here. And now we'll just divide. So it's going to be 0. 0.6. And you could have started with this equation, 0. 0.6, 1 half T over 57.30. The 0. 0.6 is the key here. It doesn't matter how you get to it. I just think it helps to think of it in these terms with a starting amount and an ending amount. And 100 is just a convenient value to use for the starting amount. And that would be it. So now we would like to solve this. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to solve it. Uh, I'm just going to use logarithms. Now, if you haven't learned logarithms, this is Algebra 2 typically. And you may or may not have reached uh, the chapter on logarithms. If you haven't learned logarithms, you could do this on your calculator. You would just set y1 to be 1 half t over 5730. You set y2 to be 0. 0.6. And then you look for the intersection. Or if you don't have a graphing calculator, you could use um, an online calculator for this and get the same result. But let's go ahead with logs. I'm going to use log base 10 because that's a convenient key on my calculator. So it's when I don't indicate the base, base 10 is implied. And hopefully you've, you've learned your law, laws of logarithms. And you know that when you're taking a base to a power, you just bring the power up front. Okay. And now we'll just replace these things with what the calculator gives us. So log of 0.6 is negative. 0.221, 222, let's call it, 
that's equal to t over 57 30 times the log of a half log of 0.5 is negative 0.301 so I'll just divide the two logs out so I'm going to take the first log and divide by the second one and I get point point seven three seven equals T over fifty seven thirty and then just multiply that by fifty seven thirty and I get four we want to round this to the nearest year so forty two 23 years, 4,223 years. So this is a very old artifact. The half-life is huge, 5,730 years. And we have almost, we have a little more than half of it gone. So it would be not, it wouldn't be 5730 years old. If it were 5730 years old, half of it would be missing. and so the ending amount would be 50, not 60. So this is pretty much in the neighborhood of what we would expect. It would be somewhere near 5730, but below it. And whether this is, you know, it's so it's a reasonable answer. And it's always good to kind of sit back and check, check your work to the extent that you can. If you wanted to, of course, you could go back here and plug this into T and see if you get 0.6. Okay, so that's it for this problem. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.